Welcome back to this adventure. My son and I are heading to Besançon to go and see the uh, the Citadel. Today, we're going to properly visit it. Join us. Dijon Gar, or the train station in English. My French is terrible. <laughs> it didn't even sound like French, but uh, just the same. Now we get on the big train, the slow train, and take it to Besson's home. This should be fun. Well, we've got about 40 minutes, so we're going to go get some snacks before we get on the train. I'm sure my son will probably appreciate that. It's not a long one, just the same. Well, snack in hand. We're ready for the train. I'm trying to tell him to wait to eat the snack on the train, but you know how that goes. Once a kid gets some candy in their hand, try and stop him from eating it, right? Well, we got a platform now, so we're headed there. Mom, how are you? Oh man, you're smaller than me? Yeah. On the train, ready to go. Officially underway on the train. It should be about an hour. We'll be in less than so. The next stop, Doleville. I went there with the camera and took photos, but I haven't actually gone there to video anything. I'm gonna have to make it a point to go there before we leave France. Beautiful place. Next stop is Besançon, where we're going. And here we are in Besançon, at least at the station. Getting off the train, my son decided to get into that candy bar. Now it's probably going to melt all over his hands. That's going to be fun. I guess now we make our way to the Citadel. I guess the station is supposed to come out in the center of the town. I think I'm supposed to go straight. Uh, there's a sign over here that'll tell me how to get to this, this thing. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a hike. In fact, I think I see the way now up on the hill. We'll see if that's correct. I think this is the way, but uh, fortunately or unfortunately, my son has discovered a playground. So I guess we're going there first instead. I mean, he takes priority, right? Ah, well. Playtime is done, and uh, apparently there's some statues over here. I guess we're going to go see what that's all about. And then it's about a 30-minute walk to get to the Citadel, as it turns out. So we've got to go down by the river, walk uh, along, across a bridge, and probably up the side of the mountain. That'll be fun anyway. <laughs> a good hike for my son. Now I remember. My wife told me about these statues. 
and uh, it has the three things that France considers to be very important, their sort of slogan or motto or whatever. Liberty, Egality, Fraternity. Yeah, they're essentially war memorials for, uh, some of it is Indochina or the Vietnam War. If you know anything about it, the France was there long before the Americans. Well, continuing on, we've got a bit of a walk ahead of us. It's fitting in a way that uh, they would have a war memorial here. I mean, being the site of this uh, citadel and all, it's uh, one of the most famous pieces of military architecture in the world. So, yeah, I guess it's fitting. Of course, every place has some kind of war memorial in France. Been through so much. World War I, World War II, and who knows what else <laughs> throughout its history. We made it to the river, so I guess we're <laughs> maybe like a fifth of the way there, something like that. Very beautiful so far. The weather is perfect. I mean, couldn't have picked a better day for getting sunburned. Of course, it's not hot. It's just the sun is quite shiny. Perfect weather, I should say. It's very pleasant, very beautiful. <sighs> well, we were making good progress, but then my son discovered another playground, so I guess we're stopping for a minute. Ah, oh, what a beautiful walk. We're down here by the river. There's a few riverboat uh, restaurants and such, but uh, pretty nice walk, nice green space, and still just shy of 30 minutes from getting to this city. Citadel now, up on the hill. Uh, I'm getting conflicting directions here. The signs are saying to go straight ahead a bit, and my GPS is telling me to cross the street and turn left. So, <laughs> something tells me the signs are going to take us a uh, more beautiful direction, I should say. Uh, we'll, we'll probably call it. Well, I'm glad that we decided to listen to the signs because it's taking us through the old city center or town center. This should be interesting. This is a very narrow alleyway. It's kind of interesting to me to see these old buildings and people spray painting all of them, but I guess, <laughs> I guess that's how it is here. But. Interesting. I'm very glad we followed those signs. This is a more scenic route. Well, we're getting closer, I think, just following these signs. Hopefully it's taking us closer. Hopefully I'm following the right signs. It says Citadel, so I hope so. In the other video, I may have briefly touched on this place. They've got some Roman ruins here. They aren't sure if it was a theater. I guess the guy that discovered it thinks it was, but they've got pieces of an aqueduct where water fed in here, some different things. Nobody's really sure what it was, but pretty interesting just the same. Thought I would, uh, my son decided to take a little break. So yeah, <laughs> mention the Roman Romans on the way up to the Citadel. probably remember, if you saw the last video we did here in Besançon, the Cathedral of St. Jean. We went inside. If you want to check it out, it's a beautiful place. I should have some clips of that in the last video. We're getting closer. Now, 
now we have to go up. Uh, I suspect it's going to be significantly up. We'll get our exercise today. Well, we've stopped for another little break so my son can take a seat. We're pretty high up now. You can see the, uh, the river walk where we were earlier, way down there. Not too much further to go. We're pretty much at the Citadel. There's just a lot of steps to go up. Well, we've made it to the Citadel at last. Now to go in and have a look at what's up here. Should be worth it. This is a World Heritage Site after all. Can't be bad. So this first part of the Citadel is free. It's like a park. You'll find the statue of the guy who created all of these forts. It's called the Iron Belt. And yeah, it's a pretty place to go. So if you do visit and you don't want to get a pass or a ticket or something, I guess you could just come to the park. It's technically inside the Citadel. So we're going to go into the museum if we can. But we've arrived at what I believe is the paid part. So we're going to walk over this bridge, over this moat or whatever it is, and go see what's in the museum. Should be fun. Well, we're into the paid part. There's actually several museums in here. One of them uh, is closed, the Museum of the Resistance, but uh, the others seem to be open, so we'll have a look. So this first museum is a mill where they uh, have horses going in a circle in this thing, grinding up wheat to make the bread for the soldiers that lived in here. Kind of interesting. We've also got different cooking things. Well, now we're gonna go up on the walls and have a look at that. Should be quite a view up there. Boy, from up here, you get good views on both sides of the Citadel. You can see where we came in and uh, the city, as well as the river and the valley below. Pretty amazing stuff. That's the end of our adventures on the wall. We're coming down now. I see they've got a zoo and an aquarium here. I don't know that we're gonna go to those because my son is tired. You probably noticed he's had a bit of a grouchy face here and there. He thinks that every time we see a bench, he should be allowed to play his video games, which I have in his back, in my backpack. But uh, yeah. yeah. Well, my son has decided that he wants to see the fish. They've got kind of a zoo up here. So if you have kids, I guess uh, not so interested in the historical part, you can at least take them to see the animals. Well, we better get out of here because we have to catch a train and it's a long way back to the train station. Luckily, it's almost all downhill, so that should make things easier, I hope. But, uh, yeah, we better hurry and get to that train. Oh, man, we're taking these crazy steps to get back down. I, uh, we didn't come up this way. Obviously, you saw we were on the road, but uh, this is a lot of steps. All the way down to the river.
Well, that was a lot of crazy uneven steps coming down that thing. But we're down almost, almost. We gotta get to that station. Well, we've made it back down to the river. So we're getting that much closer. At least we're done with steps for the time being. I think there's more steps going back up. <laughs> that should be fun. Well, we're at the first park that uh, we came to outside of the train station. And sure enough, there's, there's steps and going up and down and all of that. Whew. Never ending here, but we're almost there. Well, we're back to the train station. We missed our planned train, so we're taking another one. But, whew, made it back. Oh man, we're barely gonna make this. We stopped to get some snacks, and now hopefully we don't miss this train. We better hurry. Well, we made it to the platform, so we'll be getting back home okay. <laughs> it was close, but the train's not here yet anyway, so we're on. train so he can sound and he's finally playing his video games so all's right with the world Again, gonna have to come back and make a video about this place. Beautiful little town. I've only got photos so far, but worth visiting. And just like that, we're back in Dijon. Ready to exit, get on the tram and go back. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh, crazy journey to Besançon and the Citadel. And I guess we'll see you in the next one.